There is a new AI tool out there which can help you generate t-shirt designs with text. And in this video, I'll show you how to use it. The first thing you need to do is go to ideogram.ai. I will leave a link to this in the description. It is currently free to use, as you can see right here. And there is a bit of a wait list, perhaps when you sign up. But in my case, it only took a few days to get access to this tool. Once you've logged into ideogram, you will be met with a very clean and nice looking interface, which is always a good start. And you will see the currently trending images first. So there's a few examples right here where the text is pretty accurate for AI. It's not always 100% perfect, but it can do surprisingly well. And when you click onto these images, you can always see the four variations that the person generated. And you can see the prompt right here in the top right. You've got a few buttons um, on all of these prompts to either share, download or remix. And remix would be using the image as a reference for your own prompt. Speaking of prompts, you do create them or do enter them at the top right here. And you've also got these buttons for the style, which in my case were copied over from the previous prompt where I hit remix. But by default, you should see this blank and you can enable different styles. So let's go with typography, pumpkin with text. And then I usually put uh, quotation marks like this. And now let's say happy Halloween. That's quite a lot of text to try and get right for the AI, but um, it does typically do a decent job. You've got multiple styles right here. You can also click on see all of them and select multiple ones if you wanted to, like I could select poster as well, for example, that sometimes gets good results for t-shirt designs even. And you could also hit lucky style, which randomly picks out multiple of these style presets. You don't have to use them, but they can help you get a different style. And the prompts from my experience don't have to be very long. They can be very simple. And Obviously, you can get inspiration by what other people have been doing right here because you, you will see occasionally some designs that suit the print on demand style. But let's go ahead and generate this. You do have three different aspect ratios at the moment. I'm guessing they'll probably add more in the future. One by one square is probably the best for print on demand. But you can also do a very tall image, 10 by 16, which is more poster friendly, or 16 by 10, which is more of a screen format. You can only generate one prompt at a time. So that is a bit of a limitation. And it does take a little while, as you can see, the generation progress over here, but you could already make a start um, on a new prompt whilst you're waiting. Floral 2D flat illustration with text, and then let's put keep grinding. Let's untick poster and enable illustration over here, and let's hit generate for this one. Um, my previous one was finished there, but I didn't get a chance to look at it. If you do want to look at your previous prompt, all you have to do is click on your little profile icon in the top right corner, and then it will open up what you've generated in the past. So in, in this case with the pumpkin, if I click into this, I can see the different generated images right here. So happy Halloween, this is spelled correctly. The graphics in the middle don't look perfect, don't get me wrong, but it's actually done a good job of getting the text right. Here it forgot about happy, but Halloween again spelled correctly. This one is actually quite decent. It's not a bad job. I would have made the word happy a bit bigger, but overall that looks like a t-shirt design. It's quite decent. Let's say you really like one of these images. You like the style of it and the layout. What you can do is while having this selected, click on remix and then just run this again. You can make changes to the prompt, of course, and the style if you wanted to, but you can just run this again and it's going to use that original image as a reference and give you an output that's very close to that original one that you've generated. And that way you can sort of have more control over the style. There we go, that's pretty interesting. I don't like this to see in the mouth, but besides that, um, the word happy at the top has gotten bigger, so that's a good thing. Um, and here's a few other variations. Like with all AI tools, you're not always going to get perfect results, but this one is actually super good considering it's so new. The keep grinding design finished as well, and uh, some of these layouts look pretty interesting. Like this, even with the script font, did do a decent job. It's not 100% perfect here. Grinding, it looks more like a U grunting, but um, keep grinding. This design is actually half decent. So I did a variety of different prompts previously. I think a few that I could show you. First of all, travel poster uh, designs is something that I tried out and they do look all right. They do look decent. Miami Beach is spelled correctly and the style of these is quite cool. So um, here's the prompt. Here we've got the birthday princess and the prompt is cartoon vibrant 
kawaii unicorn with text saying the birthday princess. I did think this one was pretty interesting because it was smart enough to connect these letters right here and actually make for a super interesting typography design. So grind, the R goes down into the V of never and up here the G also drops down to the N. So really, really cool design this one. It's all spelled correctly and it actually looks pretty decent. So this one is cool vintage groovy script typography. The grind never stops. This one also great layout. Down here, we've got one of my earlier prompts that actually gave an amazing result. I think this looks really clean. It doesn't even look very AI generated, to be honest. And the prompt in this case was cute cartoon avocado doing yoga with text. And it says, but first yoga. And for the styles, I used typography, poster and illustration right here. So yeah, I mean, amazing results that you can get with this tool, considering it's only like a few weeks old, I think I think it only launched very recently. In case you're wondering how to utilize these designs and you know, take them out of this tool, increase the quality and remove the background. So you can actually sell these as stickers or t shirt designs or whatever, because the default quality is not very high. If we save these, then you'll quickly notice they're only a 1000 pixels in Size. However, we can quickly fix this by first of all going to a website called Clip Drop, which has a super good background remover and um, that you can use for free for these smaller images. Let's say I want to use this bear, just drag and drop it into here, hit remove background and there we go it's taken off the blue and kept everything else in our design then you can hit download with this button in the top right corner and then you could head to a website called vectorizer ai which actually turns your images into vectors and makes them really high quality so i'm going to use the file that i just downloaded from clip drop without the background and drag this one into vectorizer and then as you can see on the left hand side we've got the original image pixelated raster format on the right hand side, we've got the output, which definitely looks a lot better because it is actually a vector, which is infinitely scalable. So now we can click download, I would recommend using the same settings as me in this case, I think you need to change the shape stacking and some of the gap filler settings and then hit download. And now you can open up your vector file in any vector editing software. I'm using Adobe Illustrator here. For example, you can move the different shapes around, you can easily change the color. So in this case, let's say I wanted this to be green, um, I can just quickly select all of these same fill color and then match that to the green. I could also change the curves right here with the direct selection tool if I wanted to make some adjustments to the shape. So super handy to be able to turn this into a vector to not just edit it, but also to increase it to massive scales. If you wanted to save this, you know, 10,000 pixels, as a PNG file, you can do that once it's been turned into a vector and once you've opened it up in one of these programs. So Illustrator will be linked in the description as well as Ideogram as well and all of the other tools I showed you to remove the background and turn this into a vector. If you want to learn how to create Halloween themed t-shirt designs using Midjourney, then make sure to check out this video next where I share multiple prompts and tips with you that will help you out massively.